Hey guys, it's Light here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over part 2 of my Ultimate Starfield wishlist. So, if you haven't seen part 1, go and check it out. The last Ultimate wishlist video did so well, so thank you guys for that. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like, it massively helps out smaller channels like myself. Also, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I am hoping to hit 30 subscribers here soon, so it would really mean a lot. With that said and done, let's get into the video. Okay, so first off, I really want spacewalks. I want to be able to float around in space when I'm like tied to my ship. I'd also love to be able to just sit in my ship, like in the cockpit, and just stare into the blackness of space. Now let's talk music. Fallout is known for their old school music, but I personally hope that Starfield has more of a retro vibe. Think of Star Lord's awesome mix. I want something like that, but hey, if the music isn't like that, it's not a big deal. I can just put on my retro playlist on Spotify. So now let's talk about planets, or more specifically, dead ones. Now don't get me wrong, I obviously don't want Starfield to just be filled with empty, boring planets, but I would love to be able to explore a planet that has pretty much no life. It's just filled with dust and ruins, and maybe you have to explore it and figure out why the planet's citizens decided to abandon it. Something like that would be so cool, and I really hope that Bethesda have put stuff like that in the game. Now, in my last video I mentioned pets, but I kind of skipped over it very quickly. So let's talk about it some more. Obviously everybody wants cats and dogs in this game, but hear me out. What about reptiles? Or something like that. Maybe you can find some kinds of alien frogs or lizards that you keep in little glass cages on a ship. How awesome would that be? Maybe with a high enough, like, intelligent perk, or something like that, you can study them. I personally would love this. Now again, in my last video, I spoke about how I really want my ship to be my house. I want to customise it. I want to have a living room, a bathroom, a bedroom, a storage area, and I want to customise it all. But I'd also love to be able to buy homes. I want to be able to buy, like, a rooftop apartment in New Atlantis. Or I want to be able to buy a little shack in Aquila. I really hope that Bethesda have put some good player homes in besides some ships. Now let's talk vehicles. So the closest Bethesda has ever come to giving us vehicles is horses, I guess. And I know that this is extremely unlikely, but what if Starfield has vehicles besides spaceships? I'd love to see fighter ships, some kind of futuristic motorbikes, snowmobiles on snow planets, and all that good stuff. Now, I want to talk about Earth. I want to know what Earth is up to in this universe. I want to know what it's like. Now, I don't want to actually be able to go to Earth, if anything, I'm playing this game to avoid Earth. But let me know what Earth is like in this universe, you know? Let me see where it stands. Now, I want to mention something kind of small, but something that personally gives me a lot of fun with Bethesda games, and that's collectibles. One of the things I absolutely loved about Fallout 4 is the collectibles, the magazines and the bobbleheads. I want things like this in Starfield. Give me a reason to carefully explore every single location. I'd love to see some kind of bobblehead again. Maybe you can place them on a dashboard in your cockpit of your ship and see them bobble around as you fly your ship. Obviously I want to see different types of things, not just a reskin of the Vault Boy bobbleheads. But it's just an idea I have. Next, reward exploration. I don't just want to search place to place, building to building, to find the same things over and over and over again. This is one of the massive issues that I have with games like Skyrim and Fallout 4. You're just constantly finding the same loot, the same weapons, and it gets really boring after your first playthrough. Like, it just small things, like hide a chest somewhere that has a few thousand of whatever the in-game currency is. Give us a bunch of one-kind, unique armors and weapons. Now, I want to go back to ship customization and talk about what I'd like to see for the outside of your ship. Now, I've said a hundred times, I want the inside of your ship to be your home. I want to be able to customize it like you can customize a Fallout 4 settlement. Let me put what I want where I want. But let's talk about the exterior. I would love to see mechanics, but for your ship... Let me change thrusters, wings, engines. Let me change the colour, add patterns to the colour. Even customise the colour of the ship's flames, the colour of the windows, things like this. Imagine GTA V's car customization, but with your spaceship and Starfield. 
How freaking awesome would that be? Now, I want to talk about DLC for a minute here. Now, I know, I know, we basically haven't even seen gameplay of Starfield yet. But all I want to say is, I hope every DLC includes a new planet. That's all. Kind of like how Skyrim added the Dragonborn DLC, and Fallout 4 added Nuka World and Far Harbor. Do this, but make it new planets instead of just islands, you know? Don't give me any more of those ridiculous workshop DLCs, Bethesda. Please. Okay, this is kind of a small thing, but I want photo mode. I know not everybody is going to care about this, but I do. I hate that I have to use mods to take decent screenshots in Skyrim and Fallout 4. Give me a photo mode, Bethesda. I want to take pictures of my character kicking the shit out of an alien, alright? <laughs> now, I don't know if this is controversial or not, but in my opinion, one of the very few good things in Fallout 76 was how the photo mode created new pictures for your loading screen. I would absolutely love this feature to be in Starfield. That way, I can just take hundreds of pictures with the photo mode that I mentioned earlier and create gorgeous loading screens for myself. I know it's not for everyone, but personally, I would find this a lot better than the normal boring loading screens that we normally have in Bethesda games. You know the one, the black screen with the random item floating around. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of that. So I want to talk about humour and tone. I want that to be a good balance between humour and darkness. I think Fallout nails this. I was really hoping that Starfield isn't too funny or, you know, depressing. I hope it's a good mix of both. I want to laugh at and find funny things, but I also want to be taken away by finding some tragic stories. Because it's things like this that make Bethesda games feel so real and so special. Okay, so lastly, I want to feel the excitement and danger when my character looks out into space. I want to have the same feeling that I have in real life. I want to wonder what's out there and what I can find, what mysteries are out there, and things like that. I don't just want to look out of my cockpit and be like, oh, there's a Aquila, better go fly over there. I want to actually have a sense of mystery in this game. And with all of that said and done, we're going to wrap up. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like. It really does help out smaller channels like myself more than you can even imagine. Also, like I said earlier, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I'm hoping to hit 30 subscribers here soon, so it would really mean a lot. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I hope I see you in the next one.